Oh. I can't believe this happened. What's up guys, we're back with another video. This one's not as epic. It's actually kind of a sad thing. This is some of the biggest news I've seen since I've been in Yu-Gi-Oh. You might have seen the title, know what this video is about, and you might be thinking, is this that big of a deal? I think it is. I think this is a really big deal. There's a picture going around the internet that shows that Walmart is no longer selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards due to like danger to their employees and basically it's just too much of a hassle for it to be worth them selling cards so i don't know for a fact that this is like every walmart in the united states or wherever but it's a little bit scary and we're going to talk about why in this video so first we have to go back to the past year trading cards have gotten super popular not just Yu Gi Oh. we've got sports we got pokemon absolutely massive in terms of value, like resale value, like sports cards are selling for crazy amounts, Pokemon have record prices, Yu-Gi-Oh's gone up as well. People realize that, even the newest sets, when a new set comes out, a great set like Hidden Fates or Shiny Fates or uh, Ghosts from the Past or the newest Optic or Prism set, um, basketball, football, whatever, people know that when they stock them at Walmart or Target, the retail price is not going to come close to the resale price. So if they can buy something for 10 bucks at Target, it's probably going to be worth 30 or 40 bucks online. So once people realize that there's literally free money on the shelves, they go out there and they make sure they get as much of it as possible. So when the card stalker comes to Walmart, they put in, you know, 10 boxes of whatever the newest set is that one person has been waiting there for an hour buys all of it. So there's been a lot of negativity toward these sort of people. However, you can't really fault someone. If they see okay, I can make uh, $300 on this if I just buy this. You know, I understand why they do it. You know, it's it sucks because then other people can't get it. I understand why they do it. So basically, there were so many people doing this that Target, I think it was Target first, maybe Walmart did it as well. They made a rule where it was like, you can only buy one, two, or like th maybe three of like e any trading card. And what sucked about that is sports and Pokemon were the biggest about this. If you were a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, you could only buy three packs of Yu-Gi-Oh, but you don't care about Pokemon and sports that everybody else is there to buy. So it kind of screwed over, and like Magic, like I think a lot of Magic stuff still sitting on the shelves. So you couldn't even buy that stuff anymore because the other two were so popular. They did this and it didn't really help. I heard that people went in line, there was like 30, 40 people waiting and you'd wait and you'd eventually get to you, you'd be like number 30 and you wouldn't get anything. So it was like, they implemented that policy, didn't really help anybody. Then. Apparently even more problems happened because this sign popped up and now Walmart doesn't even want to sell them in general. What does this mean? Let's talk about it. In my opinion, this is very, very bad. This is bad for Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not necessarily talking about the other TCGs, but Yu-Gi-Oh in particular. For Yu-Gi-Oh in particular, it's just bad because tons of people, they get their packs, they, you know, they go to work, they had a long day, they're like, you know what, I'm going to go to Walmart, pick up some milk, whatever, and they go by the card section. They grab them some cards, they open them up, they have fun. You know, pull something good, maybe they sell it online, maybe they keep it for their deck. Maybe they went to their locals and their locals is out. Maybe they don't have a locals. That's the main thing. There are tons of cities and towns in the United States and other places that don't have locals. So if you don't have locals that stocks cards and Target's not selling anymore, Walmart's not selling anymore, nobody's selling anymore. There's no more cards for you unless you order them. You have to order them. So that's kind of, I mean, that sucks. That really sucks. Also, even if you do have a locals, it's just, you know, what if your locals is out? You don't even have the option to go somewhere else and pick something up. And now let's think about newer players. So let's say you've been out of Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time. Let's take me for an example. 2018, I was playing Duel Links. I was getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh. I was like, wow, this is fun. I want to buy some cards. Guess where I went? Walmart. I went to Walmart. I picked up some cards. I opened them up. I duelist pack copy, you guys have heard it. I pulled the ultimate rare chaos and rare dragon. I was back like that because of those packs. If that didn't happen, I probably wasn't going to go online and order packs. You know, I wasn't going to be like, let's do some research, figure out what packs I want. Some people might, but I wasn't going to do that. The Walmart trips, what got me back into it. I bought from Walmart for like a year straight, just buying packs. I wasn't doing anything else. I wasn't making videos. I wasn't dueling. I was buying at Walmart. I was buying at Target because there was no local store in my area. I had to drive an hour to the closest local store, which I did eventually. So that's just a huge issue. The new players, there's not going to be anyone getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh from those easy to get packs. And there's probably tons of people that do that. Let me know in the comments right now if you came back based on buying packs from Walmart or Target or a retail store around you. I'd be interested to see how many of you guys it is because if it's a lot and they quit selling them, that's scary. That's really scary for Yu-Gi-Oh! as a community and as a collectible. If the current game starts dying, 
the collectability starts dying and that's scary as well if you guys have spent you have very expensive cards they might become cheap again just that convenience you have from the retail stores that extra option beside your local store or your only option if you're you know in the middle of nowhere or you're just somewhere that they just don't have a local store i really hope that this isn't a nationwide thing and if it is i really hope they reconsider and hopefully guys if you guys are doing crazy stuff like harassing employees or, and stuff please just don't do it i mean give give us a chance don't don't mess it up for everyone i know it's probably not you guys not Yu Gi Oh people doing it you know it's probably the sports people we're gonna play in pokemon it's definitely them definitely them not us we're great we're perfect no i'm just kidding but i am not kidding about like be respectful to everyone when you guys are going to those walmarts and, and just everywhere anywhere you go be respectful of course because it's just get along with people better everyone has a happier time all that stuff i don't need to explain to you why that's better but i really wanted to talk about this topic because it actually worried me like i saw it and i was like oh no that's not good and i was bummed because even though i can't normally get stuff at my local stores i was still bummed i was like there's not even potential anymore you know sometimes i'll go in there and i'm like let's see if they got anything you know i did see some maximum gold the other day I wouldn't be able to see that anymore. You know, there's nothing. So it may not seem like the worst thing ever, but I'm pretty worried that it could become something bad for Yu-Gi-Oh in general. And it's already sort of a niche, you know, a niche thing for people playing Yu-Gi-Oh, collecting Yu-Gi-Oh, all that stuff. It's become more popular recently. It's worrisome. It's definitely worrisome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick discussion video. We're going to be doing some crazy opening soon. And this weekend, we're going to be opening the newest set, a case on Saturday. I think it's Saturday, maybe Sunday. Oh, you guys will know. You guys will know by tomorrow, which is Friday, I'll tell you. And then you guys will know. So yeah, then you'll know. But yeah, we're going to open a case, live stream, YouTube. It's going to be awesome. We're also opening some crazy boxes. We have Phantom Darkness coming up. We're going to be doing that soon. We have another box I have not announced. We have the big announcement, which still isn't here. The mail is taking forever. So once it gets here in the mail, you guys will know. But right now, it is still pending. Pray that it doesn't get lost, please. I've already had a package lost recently. You guys saw us all in the Yu-Gi-Oh's video. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 We're going to be opening the newest set, um, whatever it's called, like Ancient Whatever. What's it called? Ancient Guardians? I don't know.